Hello and welcome to First Second Sketch School. I'm Mike Cavallaro, author of the Nico Bravo series, which includes Nico Bravo and the Hound of Hades, Nico Bravo and the Cellar Dwellers, and the newest volume, Nico Bravo and the Trial of Vulcan. Nico's a pretty ordinary kid who works with a sphinx named Lula and a unicorn named Buck for the god Vulcan in a general store for mythical creatures. In the series, Nico uncovers his own mysterious past, but gets on the bad side of Ahriman, god of evil, who's determined to bring down the staff of the supply shop. So today I'm going to show you how I draw Nico. He's probably my favorite character from the series to draw, so let's jump in. I'm working in Clip Studio Paint, which is a comics making program similar to Photoshop. I'm on a new layer, and I'm using the pen tool. So I'll just jump in here and start roughing in some basic shapes. Nico has a very round head, a sort of uh, cone-shaped body, very skinny arms and legs, You can see I'm not trying to do any great drawing at this point. I'm just trying to feel my way through and figure out what the drawing will be. Center lines are a good idea. Mine are a little sloppy here. It's got uh, big eyes. And one thing I wanted to mention was I took the usual classes you'd expect a cartoonist to take when I was in art school, um, figure drawing, perspective, etc., stuff like that. Um, but one thing that doesn't get talked about enough, and I think is as important as the rest of those, but you really can't learn in art school, is to have fun. Really, it sounds like nothing, uh, but it's kind of everything. Uh, you know, of course, we want to make our drawings look good. But you've got to find a way of approaching it that makes it fun to do. If you don't enjoy it, you don't do it enough, and if you don't do it, you won't improve. A graphic novel can be around 200 pages, and I've done several of those, and it can't all just be a slog, you know? Um, you've got to make it fun. That answer is, is different for all of us, but, you know, while we're working on um, improving our drawing, that's part of the search. Is, is something that makes it enjoyable to do. So I'm just slowly filling in shapes and details here. It's okay to be rough. I'm just giving myself something to follow uh, when I start cleaning up the drawing. We're almost, um, you know, we've almost got enough here for me to go by. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sketch layer and I'm going to turn it to a light blue so that we can work on top of it and still see what we're doing. I'm going to make a new layer to work on. And Clip Studio has this stabilizer um, effect that just sort of makes your ink line more fluid, so I'm going to set that. And then I'm just going to jump in again and start cleaning up these sketchy lines that I made. And you can see these are all very simple shapes. I'm not doing anything really complicated. Nico has very spiky, sloppy hair, um, and he wears this hat all the time, 
And maybe that's why he doesn't care so much about what his hair looks like, I guess. If you wear a hat all day, it doesn't matter. I think of it as kind of a knit cap. He also always wears this um, hoodie that it's sort of like a staff hoodie. It has the Vulcan's logo on it, although at this size it's a little too small to see. And I've drawn him wearing this backpack. You know, at the, at the shop where Nico works, they sell all sorts of magical items. And one of those is the bottomless backpack, which, as it sounds, um, can hold anything or as much of anything. But Nico uses the deluxe model, which uh, comes with these wings. So not only can you carry anything, but you can fly while you're doing that, which to me sounds like a lot of fun. I think I see a mistake. I forgot to draw one of the backpack straps. So that's fine and easy, easy to fix. I'm just going to add that strap and then erase a little bit. There we go. Again, really simple lines, curved lines, straight lines, simple shapes. It's nothing that anybody couldn't do. And now, um, if I turn the sketch layer off, and then I always shade in the hair a little bit. I don't black the hair in entirely. I just put in um, some of these loose shading lines. Later, when I color these, it lets some color to show through, but it still has sort of the um, scratchy ink lines, which I like. And that's basically it. And we can add some um, clouds, I guess, since he's flying, just to show how high up he is. Okay. Easy, right? Anyone can do it. All right, well, that's about it. Thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for more Sketch School. And please check out Nico Bravo and the Trial of Vulcan, available wherever books are sold. See ya.